Okay, here's how to set the software. First, you need to run the IP cam software. Okay, you need to set your settings. The important part is the port. I chose 9001, default to 8080. Click start server. It's now running. So, it's going to record that. Next thing you need to do is you need to click on this where it says, How do I connect? right here. And then click on, I'm using a Wi Fi router. That address is the one you need. As you can see, mine is 115. 192.168.2.115. That also tells you the address for your router. Your router will be dot one, dot ten, or dot one hundred. It's usually dot one. So on a computer, I go to 192.168.2.1. I log into my router. You have to know how to do this. I can't help you with that. What? Now, this is a Linksys um, router, a Cisco Linksys router. So what I do now is I need to go to the port mapping. Usually it's called application and gaming, like you see right here. And you see the name here is port range forward. You'll know it's right because you'll have application name, start to end, which protocol, the IP address, and an enable. So I called mine IP cam. I put 9001 to 9001. Protocol I set for both. IP address I put 115. I check enable. I click save. Once I do that, now all requests that come in will address to 9001 will go to the 115 address, which we have determined is the address given by the camera. Now, you go to what is my IP address dot com, what is my IP dot com, and this here is your IP address. So this here, colon 9001, copy it, copy, go to your address, paste it so that we now have the IP address we just gathered. Come on, autofocus. There it goes. Now you do shift colon next to the L key. 9001 press enter uh oh something's wrong hey, come here. oh wait a minute I have to be off that screen and you'll get this screen Click on Use Java Browser Plugin, and now you see whatever the camera sees, and you should be able to use that from any computer. As you can see, that's what it's saying. Now, if your IP address changes, of course, that will also change.